Will getting the COVID-19 vaccine affect the chances of pregnant women having a miscarriage? A local doctor says that is a misconception they want to clear up. In this morning's STL Moms, Fox 2's Molly Rose is talking to him about fertility and COVID vaccines. Molly. Thanks, Kim. This morning we are talking to Dr. Kenan Omertong. He's joining us. He's a Washington University fertility and reproductive medicine physician. Doctor, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Molly. Of course, I know a lot of people are asking about this, doing research on this for couples out there. Maybe they're trying to conceive. What would your advice be? Should a woman get vaccinated before trying to get pregnant during pregnancy? Is there a preference there? There's no preference. If you're trying to get pregnant, you should get vaccinated. If you are pregnant, you should get vaccinated. This is not just me talking. This is recommendations from the American College of OBGYNs from the American Society of Reproductive Medicine. There is no increased risk of any uh, miscarriage if you get the uh, vaccine in the first trimester um, based on surveillance data that we have in over tens of thousands of women so far. Is there a preference which trimester to get the vaccine? Can it provide more assistance to protecting the baby, uh, getting it earlier versus later or vice versa? Uh, that we, we know that COVID causes, uh, increases the risk of ICU admission, increases the risk of death in pregnant women. So we want women to be vaccinated and protected in pregnancy. Um, so before they get pregnant in the first trimester, second trimester, third trimester, even with lactation, uh, COVID vaccination is safe and it is not, and, and it can protect your offspring and yourself. And what about a woman or a man's overall fertility? Can this ha vaccine, any of the vaccines have any impact on that? There, there is no link and no truth to the myth that getting vaccinated disrupts female fertility, nor will it affect sperm counts. Let me, I, I cannot be more clear about that. There is no evidence that it will harm fertility, getting vaccinated. And some people out there pointing to a lack of long term studies. What do you have to say to people who are still on the fence because of that reason? There are a couple of things I would say, but it comes down to risk benefit calculations and our in our experience, mankind's experience with vaccinations. Um, usually there you will know if there is a serious problem with any kind of medical intervention or um, vaccination within the first two, three months of its rollout, especially being rolled out to millions of people and having the surveillance system that Operation Warp Speed from the US government allowed the FDA and the CDC to have. So the we know right now that getting COVID infection in pregnancy will increase the risk of death, increase the risk of respiratory infections and ICU admissions and intubation in pregnant women. We know that the COVID vaccination will prevent that. And the risks of COVID vaccination are small to none. Therefore, the risk benefit calculation is great. You can't wait 15, 20 years to learn whatever long-term outcome people are looking for when you have obvious evidence in front of you that the risk benefit calculation is so much in favor of getting vaccinated. Dr. Omer Tog, so much great information. Thank you for joining us this morning. We'll send it back over to oh. Kim and John. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Molly.